It's the first time we've had a collaboration between scientists, NGOs, government staff, the Queensland Museum, the CSIRO. We're all here, we're all working together, learning from each other and finding much, much more about the wonderful environment out here. So the Coral Sea Clean Up and Biodiscovery Voyage 2016 is all about visiting the pristine environments out in the Coral Sea to maintain the quality of these islands and caves and protect them for generations to come. So it's an exciting opportunity for our scientists to go to an area that's it's extremely remote. Each day we're working off a mothership, the Iron Joy, and teams come out in tenders. We have the CSIRO team going out, doing their line transects, then the other team members come behind them with bags, and we pick up every single piece of litter we see. We circumnavigate the islands, and then also head to the inland of the island as well. We have removed the debris from the islands. Uh, we're gonna take it back out to the Iron Joy, and we're gonna sort the data so we've got a cyber tracker which we, we enter the data and all the information into. Then we'll take that to our, our database and it gets gleaned a few times and then it goes into the AMD database. It all ends up as information and a paper trail. But I can see already that there's a lot of waste from shipping, like massive ropes and lots of foreign, um, foreign bottles and so forth. So we've got to analyse the data. But at the end of the day, it's to try and stop the marine debris from entering the environment. We've come on this coral sea trip for two main purposes. One is to do beach surveys to find out what marine debris is out here on the beaches. What we're trying to work out is where does that come from? Is that coming from local sources from us or is it coming from other places? We're also conducting manta net trawls off the Iron Joy. The purpose of these is to collect rubbish that's floating along the surface of the sea. Most of the time that's microplastics and what we're going to do is have a look at what we find out in the water versus what we find on shore. We'll compare those and see what the load differences are between onshore and offshore. Bushbiz team consists of nine scientists and two teachers that are coming out here to look for new plant and animal species. So we have people looking at spiders, we have people looking at moths, we have people looking at plant life. We also have scientists that are specialists in biosecurity risk. So they'll be coming out looking at new and introduced species. But under the water we're seeing large fish, large rock lobsters and a variety of rich and abundant and diverse sea life.
collected. We've collected almost a ton and a half of marine debris off these islands. We've filled up both the holds of the boat. It's all reaching out here. It's 400 kilometres offshore. The amount of debris we're finding, it's just not good for the environment out here. It's not good for the birds. We're seeing plastic in the nests. It's not good for nesting turtles. They can get entangled in the fishing lines. What I found really surprising is on these tiny specks of sand, these caves in the middle of nowhere, is huge levels of debris. We're pulling bags and bags of plastic off these shores. And you can also see that depending upon the, the height of these small islets, a lot of the debris will just get washed right on and washed right off again in those large storm events. But then when we have these islets with vegetation on them, massive levels of debris trapped in amongst the shoreline. And this is the same area where all these beautiful exotic seabirds are nesting, where you can see turtles coming ashore to lay their eggs. So this debris on these islets is a very real risk. And the, the impacts of it go even further. Once that plastic breaks down, it enters the sand, it enters the food chain, fish are eating it, birds are eating it. Marine debris affects seabirds in two main ways. That's ingestion and entanglement. With ingestion, the birds are picking up the plastics thinking that it's fish, swallowing it, taking it back to their nests and feeding it to their chicks. There's tons upon tons of marine debris going into our oceans and it's going to have a major effect on the environment. It is a major issue. Projects like this can add to our knowledge. They're not the solution, but the more we can learn and the more we can do on this issue, the better it will be for the future.